Comments in Lua come in two flavors, single line comments and multi-line comments. Anything that you mark as a comment will be ignored so you can use them to document your code and sometimes, but only make use of this every so often, you can disable broken code with this. When you're building plugins, make sure to use a lot of comments because comments help you relearn your old plugin code when you want to, for example, extend an old plugin of yours or adapt it because a friend of yours asked for their own special version. You will be surprised how easy it is to forget the meaning and the reasoning behind code that you wrote yourself. So use comments now and thank me later. All right, let's take a look at what comments look like. Um, using a single line comment is as simple as writing two dashes, as we can see over here. So everything else behind that text will be ignored. So anything behind those two dashes will be ignored. And uh, looking at our hello world example, once we add those two dashes in front of the gma.echo, in this case, the gma.feedback, all of a sudden the plugin doesn't do anything when we execute it. And I'm not, yeah, we're, we're going to show you what that looks like. So, you know, this is probably pretty dumb. You can already see that the syntax highlighting, um, you know, tells us that this stuff is green, a comment actually. And we can also see that if we remove those two, then it immediately becomes active. By the way, this is the wrong kind of quotation marks as we can see here. So now we have the string as we expected, um, this text here being displayed correctly. And by the way, if I want to add a comment, I can even put this back here. Hold on, like that. So you can really see anything behind those two dashes will get ignored, even if it's at the end of the line or in a separate line or in the beginning of the line, no matter what you like here. Um, yeah, you can place that wherever. All right, let's just go ahead here and um, I'm gonna do a simple demonstration and uh, I'm going to call this comments. Control A to select everything, Control V to insert it. Now when I run this, I see hello world. Now if I go back to my code editor, reminder, I'm using Alt and keep it down while pressing Tab until I get to the right window. Then I let go of Alt. Now I'm inserting the two dashes back in here. Again, Control A to select everything, Control C to copy the code and then Alt Tab over into my window. Right click on the comments, Control A, Control V, save. And now I'm going to execute this and we can see that nothing happens. All right, quad arum demonstrandum, as the people in science like to say, that's what we wanted to display in the first place. All right, for the multi-line comments, as you can guess, um, you know, it's a little different, but um, yeah, let's, let's just see what they look like. I mean, essentially you have two dashes and then two opening uh, square brackets and then somewhere else, two closing square brackets and then two dashes. And that's sort of the beginning and the end of the multi-line comment. All right, so let's say that you want to add some personal infos or instructions how to use your plugin to the top of your plugin, as you can see here, then multi-line comments are perfect for that. You know, as I said, adding two dashes and then those opening square brackets and the same thing in reverse, that's a multi-line comment. So as you can see, it's not that big of a deal. Um, just please do make sure that you use plenty of comments. After a while, you will find a good balance of how much comments you need. But for now, just start by commenting way too much rather than too little.